Welcome back to Whiskey Buds. I'm, I'm Kurt. I'm Billy. <laughs> and here we are on the other side of 100 Us. whiskeys. Like, how do you feel now you're, that you're an expert? <laughs> I forgot all of them. <laughs> <laughs> we start over. <laughs> so Billy, Billy, hey, both so we start over on another 100 whiskey journey? Like, no, the same ones. Same ones? We, we do have to revisit them. I think... That would be kind of interesting. I'm thinking going back and like having like side by sides on them, um, but not necessarily the blind tasting. I mean, maybe we should, but. I just know like the, some of those early ones, like the monkey shoulder. Yep. I was like, eh, monkey, yeah. Yeah. You've most you've, of them in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Jameson, um, Centauri Toki, like all the Japanese whiskeys. I mean, we only tried what, two of them? Yeah, I don't know. Why did we only Maybe try those two Japanese whiskeys? <laughs> Maybe they were just bad to begin with. <laughs> well, anyways. Um, yeah, anyway, what do we got here? Yeah, this actually, well, Billy already knows, but yeah, this is another Balconis. And if you've watched any of the Balconis episodes, you know that we enjoy Balconis. Texas whiskey. Billy sent me this one and uh, because it was the ZZ Top edition, the Trace Hombres. Uh, the it's actually the album name. I didn't send it to you. I told you about it. You sent me a link to it. Well, yeah, but yeah, and then I had to look it up, and then I've been searching for it ever since then, and I finally found it while we're on vacation in Albuquerque. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, I'm excited. They're, so far, every one of these from these guys have been has been good, right? Pretty good. Yeah, if not eventful. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was excited for it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, ZZ Top is from Waco, Texas, and this is also where Balconis is distilled at. You know, and Trace Hombres being the name of ZZ Top's first album. Yeah. First thing I noticed was the color. Like it's got a nice it does, doesn't amber, it? like a dark, deep color. Yeah. And as far as I know, this isn't a bourbon. Yeah, just it's a Texas whiskey, like. So it kind of smells a little bit like a Canadian whiskey, but with better flavor. Really? You you, you think that smells like a Canadian whiskey, huh? Well, I'm thinking like a... <laughs> <laughs> the old standby. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't think these smell anything alike. I wouldn't imagine Balconies would make anything close to this, but no. I'm saying it smells kind of like this. I'm going to take a whiff of this, but like higher quality. Oh, this smells like crap. See, like he, I think he completely <laughs> forgot what it was like when we had to taste it like a year ago. Like, although the nice thing about this plastic bottle is you can squeeze it and puff some air out at your <laughs> nose. You can actually, huh? Hmm. Anyway, it smells pretty simple, like in. Yeah, you're not getting like uh, a caramel. cascade of scents. Yeah, like a kind of a caramel, but like. I thought I got a hint of like the cheap caramel, which is what I oh, kind okay. of equated like crown and... Yeah, until you and that smelled thing. the cheap caramel and then you realized, <laughs> all right, that doesn't smell like cheap caramel. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting some caramel. Yeah. Um, That's I couldn't tell you what, what else I'm getting. Though. It smells good. It smells right. sweet. Um, like a caramel, right? Yeah. So let's you try it. taste it? It's warm. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you have you had anything to eat today? Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> right before I came over, because I know you don't have any food. Anything All you have you is whiskey. Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I taste the caramel in it, or the yeah, 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 and it's a uh, it's it's got a heavy coating feel to it, like. Not exactly, not real oily, but definitely coating. It's okay, like, yeah. It's like drinking some paint. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like it just paints your tongue. Yeah. With... Just, yeah, a yeah. little uh, paintbrush just rolls it right across. And... <laughs> I guess it'd be a paint roller if it's rolling it. No, it didn't quite feel like that. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, it just felt like, like, I just felt it like coat my tongue. Like, like I don't, maybe it's kind of hard to describe, but. Like you can imagine yeah. drinking paint and just coats your tongue. Yeah, That's I would. I, I would. Out of this. I would think it would be a little thicker for paint, but I don't know. Well, yeah. 
with with a lot of paint thinner in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah is that is that that That's burn, the burn you're getting? <laughs> Jeez. All right. So this uh, Balconis, not in any way do we think that this tastes even close to paint like. That's that's all Crown. Billy. Like, don't don't judge me based on Billy's descriptions. Yes, it's not paint <laughs> made by Crown Royal. No, <laughs> no it's um. Okay, so it's uh, it, how do I how do you describe it? It's got it's got the caramel, it's got that real coating feeling. Yeah. Um, it doesn't really have whiskey bubbles for me. They're like a little no. bit. But it actually has really good flavor after the the sweetness and the the caramel kind of mellow out. Yeah. Yeah. And then it just kind of like, I don't know, balconies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like comes they, out of it. They do really good with it. I don't know. Like, I know it's three grains, which is why they do the trace ombres, you know, to, to bring them together. I don't know what the ratios are or anything. So I probably should have seen if I couldn't figure that, all that out. But. Hmm. <laughs> this one's good. I feel like when I first taste it, when it first hits mm -hmm. my, my tongue, I feel like I expect it to be really sweet. Because of the mm. the the nose and the texture and everything, I'm like, oh, this is going to be like a syrup, like yeah, a sweet syrup or mm -hmm. something, syrupy. And it's it's not quite as sweet, is it? No, it's not sweet. I mean, it has a little bit of sweetness in it, but it's not near what I expect when I after you smell it. Yes, yeah, I yeah. I definitely get that. Can you believe it's fifty percent? Oh, really? Yeah, that, that's pretty good, huh? You, I mean, you can taste the alcohol in it, but it's not overwhelming or anything. It's no, I didn't actually feel like the alcohol was that strong no, in it. A hundred proof and. Yeah. That's most of these Balconas, so I don't think we've, uh, I mean, I guess that Texas pot still bourbon might be 45, but <clears throat> most of the stuff we've had is is all at like 100 proof or higher for Balconas. Wow. They mean so, business. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's bigger in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, I give this, right. this, I like it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's it seems there's, pretty simple there's, and like straightforward. It really is. It's it's just a nice blend. Um, mm -hmm. Comes together nice. It's a good sipper. So, yeah, if you can find it, pick it up, try it. Uh, if you can find any Balconis, um, I don't see why you wouldn't buy them. Yeah, so far <laughs> you see the name. Might as well. Yeah, it's it's worth <laughs> a shot. So Yeah, and this has a, what a cool label, too. It does. It's easy top. And yeah, the, I think and that's reminiscent of the album cover, even. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that, but it definitely is some cool artwork. There. Did you see the uh, um, batch name number on the back? On the back? Yeah. Batch. ZZ22-1? Yeah. Huh. So they even have the ZZ for the the uh, like model the, number, kind of, yeah. right? The batch number. Hmm. All right. All right. So, yeah. Um Join us next week when uh, we drink something else, I guess, right? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. <laughs>